Sup guys, Silas here, and welcome back to Hearthstone. Now today I'm gonna show you my... let's see, what should we do today? My warrior deck, I think, or my paladin. I'm gonna go for paladin, because paladin is always a lot of fun. So let's see how uh, how we can do with that. Now this paladin deck is um, based a lot on weapons and on buffing your minions. And just doing a lot of damage to the enemy. And just try to get a lot of minion removal as well. You'll see how it works. It's not the most complicated deck in the world, but it is a fun one. Let's see a mod. You asked for it. Okay. Well, these two are too expensive, so we're gonna stick with the knife juggler. And get two different cards instead. I'm protecting the Vincent Wrath. I love that card. I fucking love this card. It's so good. Um, we'll end the turn here. Alright, first weapon you'll see, Sword of Justice. Fantastic weapon. It's an epic, so it's quite expensive, but, you know, it's got to be worth something. Um, do I want to... I'm uh, just going to do that. I'm going to save this for when I've got Sword of Justice out, so it will be a 4-3, so it won't be as easy to kill still killable with a frostbolt when you talk to a mage but you know it makes it a bit harder okay he's just gonna kill that minion uh we'll play the sword of justice this turn and we'll see what he does next um but yeah uh there's a lot of cards in this deck that are very board control heavy and there's a lot of cards that are very burst heavy this is board control of course every time i summon a minion you get a, you know, you get a fucking one damage to any minion on the board. Okay. He's got that. Um, this is just pure board control, eight damage. Uh, split between characters, that is extremely good. Especially for six mana. Uh, we'll place a knife juggler. And we're gonna give that a divine shield as well. See how strong that is. My god. So purely because I have that weapon out, they both became 1-1 one, one stronger. And he's gonna have to deal with that now. Now he, he is a mage, so he can deal with this kind of stuff very easily. But imagine it being against anyone else. Imagine it being against a a warrior. Imagine it being against another paladin. It's not easy to deal with if you don't have a lot of control like cards in your deck. So always keep a mind out for that. Right, so what can we do next turn? Cone of Cold. It's a clever move. Okay. One monarch, what's he doing? Yeah. At least I managed to, to have him waste some spells right there. Five mana. See, I don't want to play, to you, play these yet, so I'm just going to play one more of these. Reporting for duty. And I'm going to have to leave it there, because like, it's worthless to play this against a 1. Especially against a 0, because that actually buffs the enemy minute, uh, minion. So we're going to wait till he plays some bigger cards to play the other peacekeepers. So I hope you guys have been doing well Let lately. I've been uh, very busy, as usual. But I think it's coming to an end very soon, which is something I'm really looking forward to, because, my god. Right, we'll put the Church Divine Shield out there. This is my boom. Boom. Victory and boom. And leave it there. The next turn, hopefully he plays a bigger minion. Gonna Elder Peacekeeper it. And play my one of my true silver champions okay fair enough all right what's he gonna do oh new sort of justice god he doesn't have any hide hitting minions does he fuck it I'm just gonna do this reporting for duty Playing one of my true silver champions. I'm gonna have to see what this is. Okay, it's probably Victory. an ice armor. This is my responsibility. Uh, 
no, fuck it, I'm just gonna burst him down. Alright, in the next turn, he's probably got a flame strike in there now, so he's gonna board wipe me right now. Next turn, I'm gonna Venging Wrath him and attack him. Hopefully. Oh. Okay. As long as I do 6 damage with my Fringing Wrath to him, I am fine. Oh, right, because... Okay, this is going to be a long process. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so I did 4 damage to him. I'm gonna play a little minion. For duty, for and do this. And next turn I can kill him. Unless that is an ice block. Thank you. Uh, but, you know, you, ne you can never be sure. So we're gonna have to see. So why has he got? He probably actually has an ice block in there. He must do. I can't really imagine what that secret would otherwise be. Alright, so now's the perfect time to play the Alder Peacekeeper. Let's see, Alder Peacekeeper. Oh, okay, I can kill him. It's GG. Alright, well played. Boom. There we go. So that was that. That was my... My Paladin deck. It is a lot of fun to play. Um... But it's also not the easiest thing to play at, at times. Paladin is one of those decks, in my opinion at least, um, where you can get screwed over very easily. You don't have any direct removal, like unlike other classes. You've got, you know, the combination of equality with consecration, which does a fair, good, you know, a fairly good amount of damage to your enemy heroes as long as you've got those two cards together and you can just board wipe him instantly but you don't always try get those two cards you know he doesn't always have the right cards to do that you know you've got divine shield as well which completely screws that combination over because what are you going to do you're not going to kill him if he has a divine shielded minion so yeah i, I don't know the, the, the last i saw during blizzcon at least paladin was consistently the highest um, win rate class, if you look at, you know, things like uh, the, the 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 Masters One League, their paladins just seem to shine. Uh, whereas my favorite class, Priest, seems to do really ba poorly, even though everyone seems to have a Priest deck in the Masters One rank. But I don't know. It's uh, it's an interesting one. Um. I'm going to have to see what I'll do for the next video. I've been doing a lot of Hearthstone recently and I need to find another game. So if you've got any game suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. It would be much appreciated because I'm not quite sure what to play. And I've, I'm, I'm getting a bit, a bit bored of doing constant Hearthstone content, if you know what I mean. So please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. I'll, uh, I'll keep a close you know, a close look on the comment section to see what you guys want to see. Um, and I'll make a decision based on that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly did enjoy playing this game because Paladins are a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.